friends now we are solving a problem on multiple integrals now you see the given problem is evaluate double integral r sin theta dr d theta over the quadrilateral r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta above the initial line so this is nothing but a double integral they are given here directly limits no so we need to find out the limits for this region so what is the region they are given quadrilateral over the initial line friends you know the quadrilateral shapes we have two types of the quadrilaterals one is like this another one is just opposite of this like these are the two quadrilaterals we have but r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta is in this shape next r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta is like this just opposite of uh, this one now so above the initial line they are asking now i will draw in xy plane now this is x plane and this is x axis and y axis sorry x axis and y axis so this x axis you can say like initial line so now we have to evaluate the re reason is they are given the quadrilateral above the initial line so this is initial line initial line now above we required above the nothing but here you required only in this region we have to evaluate this integrand in this region only now what are the limits we have here you observe the given problem i will write first double integral of r into sin theta into dr d theta right now we have to integrate with respect to r and the theta observe the given quadrilateral is r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta now theta is nothing but observe this graph the shaded region is obtain in how many quadrants two quadrants so you can say the theta is from 0 to pi in generally if it is in first octant only first quadrant you can say 0 to pi by 2 in second quadrant then you can say 0 to pi in third quadrant also if it is awkward 0 to 3 pi by 2 if it is in four quadrants if it is there 0 to yes 2 pi now i want radius how can i get the radius is nothing but here you see we have to draw one pole to get the radius generally you see uh, y is equal to minus x line you write down or else y is equal to x line you write down r is a region you see for this one for this shape you see it is started this is a curve not like a circle not like a hyperbola okay yes or no not like a ellipse like so in this case the radius is started at 0 to it is moving like 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 this totally so it touches the initial line like this so you can say this is the radius is changing each and every point so you can say r is started at r is started at 0 but it is moving along the a into 1 minus cos theta quadrioid that's it so now the lower limit and upper limits you know now you can integrate this one very easily now limits from 0 to pi and uh, this is the theta limits now r is from 0 to a into 1 minus cos theta into whatever the integrand r into sin theta into dr into d theta that's it so this quadrioid is clear for everyone if same problem if they are given r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta means like this only now in this case first you observe we are doing double integral while doing the double integral we have to observe the limits limits are uh, independent or one is independent another one is dependent in this case both are not independent so in this case what we have to do we have to verify which is a dependent variable so here r is equal to 0 to a into 1 minus cos theta is nothing but r is a dependent variable so first we have to integrate with respect to r this is the first next we have to integrate with respect to theta this is second case that's it is it clear now first i am integrating with respect to r then sin theta is a independent term of r so r integration is r square by 2 limits from 0 to a into 1 minus cos theta into d theta now integral from 0 to pi this 1 by 2 i can write outside now i have a sin theta into a square into if you apply the upper limit then a square into 1 minus cos theta whole square 1 minus cos theta whole square this 2 already i have written outside next if you put 0 then you will have this term minus 0 is nothing but same term only you will have into d theta now 1 by 2 into this is a square is also constant so a square also i am writing outside limits from 0 to pi 
0 to 5 sin theta into you can split this one uh, better to before that you can write this 1 minus cos theta as 2 sin square theta 2 sin square theta by 2 you can write 1 minus cos square theta you can write 2 sin square theta by 2 so this is in terms of theta by 2 so this also you can change into theta by 2 term d theta this is whole square you have so first uh, i am writing the constant outside this is 2 square is nothing but 4 so this is 4 a square by 2 limits from 0 to pi and this is you have a sin theta sin theta how you can write actually 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 you can write into this is sin to the power of 4 theta by 2 into d theta if you simplify this then you will have a this 2 to getting cancel then 4 a square integral 0 to pi sin theta by 2 into sin to the power of 4 theta is nothing but sin to the power of 5 theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 d theta ok numerator 2 denominator 2 getting cancelled now I am writing the terms integral 0 to pi sin theta into sin to the power of 4 is nothing but sin to the power of 5 theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 into d theta ok now you observe friends this is a uh, sin to the power of 5 by 2 is there so into cos to the power of 5 by 2 I can do this problem in two methods I can apply the values method or else uh, bracket derivative nothing but here if you have a formula f of theta ok let it be f of x power n into f dash of x dx if you have then you can write f of x power plus 1 by power plus 1 that's it you can apply this formula so in this case you see 4 a square integral from 0 to pi by 0 to pi now sin theta by 2 whole to the power of 5 I can write this as what is the derivative of sin cosine only that is cos theta by 2 but is the theta by 2 derivative is beside no for that what I am doing theta by 2 derivative is 1 by 2 so multiplying 1 by 2 here and divide with 1 by 2 that's it into d theta now this is in the form of integral of f of x power n into f dash of x means bracket derivative is beside then you can write bracket power plus 1 by power plus 1 first I will write you see this 1 by 2 will become a 2 so 8 a square integral from 0 to pi sin to the power of t by 2 whole to the power of 5 by 2 into cos theta by 2 into 1 by 2 we have yes or no into d theta now I can apply which formula means integral f of x whole to the power of n into f dash of x dx that is equal to f of x power plus 1 by power plus 1 that's it so 8 a square into now you can write this as bracket power plus 1 means sin theta by 2 power plus 1 is this is 5 only sorry 5 plus 1 is 6 by 6 that's it now limits are what you have 0 to pi 0 to pi now in this case you will have 8a square by 6 6 is outside now so if you put theta is equal to pi then you will have sin pi by 2 minus sin sin pi by 2 whole to the power of 6 minus sin 0 power 6 ok 8 a square means here 2 4 are 3 2 3 are 6 so this is 4 a square by 3 times of sin 90 1 1 power 6 is 1 minus sin 0 is 0 therefore this value double in this value is that is double integral over r r into sin theta into dr into d theta value is 4 a square by 3 in the quadrioid okay is it clear for everyone thank you for watching this video